You can catch me floating through your black bitch, I got nice decorum. If you want my shoes, a wicked one of the Hey, what's up? It's your man in Amsterdam, Skeezy McDiggins, number 68893. If you like some of your friend requests on Arena, I'm always down to uh to play. <clears throat> Anyways, I want to give a special shout out to uh, Prop and Stop House Music Group for letting me use their music. I got a, uh, a video editing software. I'm trying to learn how to use it. So this is the new and improved Skeezy Plays Magic with uh, fancy logos and stuff, hopefully. Um, anyways, you can take a look here. I'm number 46 in Mythic Rank right now. Top 50 still. Looking pretty good. Uh, stay above that. Number 1200 spot to get into the special tournament uh, at the end of the month. I'm not sure what they're going to be doing for the April winners, but we'll find out soon enough. Anyways, today I just wanted to show you the deck that I've been climbing the ladder in. Uh, I call it Mythic Shit because it is. Um, it got me to Mythic in one day. I mean, I, I was grinding. I played for like nine hours straight. Uh, but generally speaking, they say that it takes about 40 hours to go mythic and I did it with this deck in about nine uh, so we got four of the hopeful initiates he has training he's a one two um, I can also remove a couple counters from creatures I control not just him any creatures I control uh, to destroy target artifact or enchantment which is pretty nice against those rune decks that are coming out these days uh, a couple portable holes um, I can exile non-land permanent with a mana value two or less uh, another one drop my usher of the fallen it's a two one and it has a boast ability. You can pay uh, two mana and create a 1-1 white human creature token uh, when he attacks. Uh, Faithful Absence destroys target creature or planeswalker. It controls and investigates. That's more or less for late game. Uh, if there's a planeswalker that comes out I need to handle. Or something that's more than uh, four mana that my Skyclave can't do. Uh, the Intrepid Adversary is a pretty cool card if you haven't come across this. It's a 3-1 lifelink. And when it comes into play, you can play one colorless and one white any number of times. Each time you do so, all of your creatures get a plus one, plus one counter. Uh, the Luminarch Asperiant, probably the best two drop in white right now. Uh, at the beginning of combat on your turn, put a one, one counter on target creature you control. Uh, you can imagine if you get two or three of those out, it gets pretty nuts. Uh, the Thalia is a good one because there's not really Fateful Absence, I think is my only actual spell. Oh, and Portable Hole in the whole deck, so... Uh, Non-creature spells cost one more mana to cast. That's for you and your opponent. Uh, but in my deck, it really doesn't hurt me. So, uh, a couple of them. Three Adeline Resplendent Cathars. Um, it has Vigilance. Its power is equal to the number of creatures you control, and every time it attacks, you create a 1-1 white creature. Uh, you got three Brutal Cathars as some of the removal. Uh, when this creature enters the battlefield or transforms into a brutal star, exile creature the opponent controls until this creature leaves the battlefield. So he, when it goes day to night, he'll turn to the Moon Rage Brute, which is a 3-3 first strike. And then when you switch him back, he can steal another one of your enemy's creatures. Uh, the Elite Spellbinder is fantastic. 3-1 flying. I got three of these. Uh, when he enters the battlefield, you look at your opponent's hand, which is just so valuable in and of itself. And then you can pick any non-land card from it. It's exiled. And it costs two colorless more to cast than usual. Your, your opponent can still cast it, but it costs more. Uh, the Skyclave is a 2-2. Two, two. Uh, when it comes into play, I can uh, get rid of a non-token permanent with mana value 4 or less. When the Skyclave dies, your opponent gets a creature that's power and toughness is equal to the uh, converted mana cost. Uh, one Legion Angel, and of course, three in the sideboard. He's a 4-3 flying, but when he comes into play, you can pull one from your sideboard uh, into your hand. So it's almost like you have four Legion Angels for one. Now, here's the thing that makes my deck different than a lot of the Mono Whites out there. Is I threw in three Blade Historians, and I can't imagine the deck without it. Uh, attacking creatures you control have double strike. So, with all that shit like the Adeline Resplendent Cathar out there making creatures, I can make extra creatures with my Usher, I got a lot of cheap creatures. Giving them all double strike is brutal. Uh, a couple Cave of the Frost Dragons for five mana, it's a, just a Plains, but for five mana, you can turn it into a 3-4 white dry, blah, flying dragon creature. Uh, I Django is a Plains again. 
but you can channel it for uh, two colors and one white. You discard it, it deals four damage to attacking, blocking, or attacking creature. And then just 18 planes. So that's your 60 card deck. I'm going to go ahead and give it a run. Whether I win or lose, we'll just see how it works out. Uh, so you can see it in action. It's, it's fast, it's brutal. At least in standard. I mean, it's not going to be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a historic deck or anything. Uh, but I would have to say my win rate is hovering around 70%. It's a good chance you can see a win right now. Hopefully. Let's see our fucking cat boss. Cat boss. Facing off against the cat boss. What do I got here? I would consider mulliganing this because I don't have any two drops. But I'm going first. So I'll get the hopeful initiate out. And hope for a Luminarch Experience draw. Or, you know, something. No, another Adeline, but that's okay. Now I really need to land. If I don't get a land, this could get fucked pretty quick. No land. Okay, this could get fucked pretty quick. Well, it just happens like that. Sometimes you just... I have enough lands. I have 23. I was running 22 for a while. And I got sick of having my blade. I always get my three. This is my third one. Uh... I'm actually going to go ahead and Skyclave wedding announcement because that can become dangerous uh, after that it makes characters every turn and then on the third turn all your creatures get plus one plus one so I don't want that out there and now they played sword and I'm wishing that I kept my fucking you right, that's okay so we're going to do one of these. Let's start with this. The reason I did that not Adeline is because next turn I'm going to drop that Blade Historian. Unless I need to Brutal Cathar or something. Unless you put something really big out. But that Legion Angel is going to take 8 damage right off the dome. Or kill a stupid fly. Wait, he's about to attack, probably. No, maybe not. I don't know. Let's see what's going on. Oh, no. Sacrifice. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My way. What do I want to do? Oh well. I'll be okay with that. That hurts. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to get my ass whooped. I didn't get my fucking lands early enough. You know, it was just a bummer draw. Not to make excuses, but it looks like I'm pretty well fucked. By the cat mouse. So this would draw me down to about 50. Uh, which is still fine. You know. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna learn to do a fucking mascot exhibition, get another land, and, and just fuck me raw. Yep, I told you. Oh. Now, my only hope is to get another Elite Spellbinder and stop him from casting that mascot exhibition, because once that happens, I'm fucking done. We'll see what happens. The deck does have enough 
You know, I'm gonna. I'm probably, uh, I don't want the video to go too terribly long, but you know what? I'm gonna play one more match after this because I want you to see it win. That was just dirty, dirty. How I got done with uh, with fucking lands, man. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to take this dude out. For knowledge, a fair trade. Yeah. Okay, I can call it now. There's a spellbinder I needed last turn, and I could have stopped that fucking meter, but... No, you would have cast the other, the fucking, uh... Mascot Exhibition gives you three huge creatures for the low, low price of seven colorless mana. Uh, one of them is Flyer. I don't remember exactly what they are. It's like a 2-1, a 3-2, and a 3-3 three, three Flying, or some stupid shit like that. And, uh... Boy, is that a pain in the ass, so... Let's go one more game. Yeah, you know what? If I lose again, fuck me. But I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much top 50 Mythic. It's a good fucking deck. Uh, and it'll get you to Mythic quick. I tore through Diamond with this deck. Just tore through it. I think in the whole thing, I had like four losses through the whole fucking thing. Uh, let's take a look here. A couple hopefuls. I'll keep it. Excuse me. Do. Yeah, fuck it. Two shambling gas, that sucks. Three of them, uh oh. The problem with the Shambling Gas is when it dies, you either get uh, a treasure token or you do one damage to a target creature. So that's bullshit. I am actually willing to basically just wipe the board right now and give him his treasure token to let's kill my dudes. I don't fucking care at this point. There. I was surprised he didn't take two and took my Brutal Cathar, that would have been a smart move for him. He had the same shit. Didn't have my Brutal Cathar dead, but maybe he wanted the fucking treasure token so he could cast a Soren. Nope. There we go, that's what I wanted to see. Okay. So there's that intrepid adversary, beefed everybody up by one, and now I'm more free to attack. 
Uh, the deck is obviously aggro as fuck, but it does have a lot of removal. Um, it's for those just-in-case instances. Shambling gas is still relative. Go ahead and do that. Go to the portable hole, I'll take that. Get rid of shit. Do 10 damage. And I gain 4 life for the intrepid, so I bring him back up to 19. Almost kill this fucker. But generally, he's got so many fucking lands now, like, anything could happen. It's a stupid-ass black deck. You get it. Probably. Uh, no, no, he needs to get two creatures out. Three. Any one of my guys can kill him, so unless he gets two more creatures out, or kills one of my dudes or something. And I got the Brutal Cathar and the Skyclave sitting there, so I would have killed. So there you go. There's the deck in action. Uh, actually working. <clears throat> So I hope you guys, I hope you guys give it a shot. Uh, hope you liked it. I didn't pay attention to that. Put me back over 50. Let's take a look here. My profile. Anyways, you guys, uh, be safe out there. Have fun and be yourself. You know what I mean? I got 25 gold. And am I above 50 again? 49. Yeah, baby. Going for that number one spot. Do 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 do. Alright, so we'll call it a day, and thanks for watching, uh, feel free to steal my deck ideas, that's why I put them on here, uh, use that, use that shit man, hey, get to Mythic bro, come come play me at Mythic, uh, Skeezy McDiggins, number 68893, thanks again to Prop and Stop House for the music, and I hope you guys like the new editing bullshit, uh, let me know in the comment section uh, what you think. And if you want a deck list, like, in the bio or whatever, I'll do it. But I'm not going to do it just to do it. I don't have that uh, copy and paste that I would have to get to write it all out. So, uh, Kyle Skeezy, signing off. Y'all have a good one. I've been chasing beat down by the 12, I ain't